Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear, and today I'm bringing the Solar Storm X6. Alright guys, uh, today I'm not in front of the camera because unfortunately my tripod is still broken. Um, so I can't use my phone, I'm using my old school camera. So it's going to be an old school style review with new technology. Um, basically, I got the Solar Storm X6 in front of me. Um, I brought it for a shed light, even though it's a bike light. Uh, I just brought it because I thought it would be easier to mount this than using a normal flashlight. Um, I was right and then I was wrong because it's still a pain in the ass to mount. Uh, yeah, basically I brought it because Gearbest had it on clearance. I think it was like 28 Aussie dollars or something. It's pretty cheap. 26, 28. I thought mad, you know, for um, XML2 T6s. Why not? Uh, Solar Storm being Solar Storm, because it is one of the cheaper lights. Uh, they use like the worst bin XML twos. Well, you know, like what do you expect? I got it so friggin' cheap. Like fuck, it's, it's bound to happen. Um, actually, this is a disclaimer, guys. Before you get any any further into this, um, I did own my LEDs because the tint was pretty blue. So the tint that I show you isn't going to be exactly the same, but it'll be somewhat similar. Uh, just so that you guys know that. Uh, de-doming is just where you cut off the dome off the LED. Uh, that's about it. Um, I'm blabbering on right now. Uh, yes. So, you get in the package, you get the light itself. Uh, you get the battery pack, which I was surprised to get. I didn't even know that I was going to get a battery pack. You get the box. Let me put the camera up. You can see my dirty ass room. There's a box. Um, mine got stopped by Australian Customs. For quarantine inspection, you get instructions, which Solar Storm didn't actually put in English this time. Usually that they put it in English, but this time it's not. Uh, and you get something that I just dropped on the floor. Oh, excuse me. Was my head just on camera? Hopefully not. Uh, this thing. Basically, you get two of these, sorry. For different sized um, handle handlebars. These fit on like so. I always get my fat hands in the way, don't I? Like blah blah, one there, and then your handlebars go underneath, and then that's somewhat securely attached. At least it's easy and quick to get off. Uh, that's pretty much the contents of the pack right there. I have not filmed the video inside in that long, but it's raining that hard here in Sydney that um, I think my house is going to freaking blow away. Like living on the coast, you know, you get used to the wind, but I don't know, it's still, still a pain. Um, the cord is. I don't even know how long the freaking cord is, eh? Hey? Let's measure it out. Because I'm a simpleton. 30. That's got to be a solid... Uh, about 120 centi centimetres. <coughs> Guess the met there. I could have just actually just stood up and measured it, eh? Hey? Um, round, so... I measured it before. 5.5. 5. Where's that 5? That's 5. About 5 centimetres. I swear when I measured it here, it was a little bit more. Yeah, it's about 4.5 from the outer from the outer di diameters. Um, that's about four centimeters long. It doesn't really matter about the size of this because this doesn't use a reflector system. It uses optics, so you can see the optics there. Uh, so no matter how big it was going to be, you're still going to get a pretty good beam using optics anyway. Um, now, trying to find um, info on these lights are uh, pretty peculiar. Um, Solar Storm doesn't have a um, Ally Express store like most other Chinese manufacturers would. They got a Alibaba store, so that's a little bit different. So if you want to look for their lights, type in. Um, I'm pretty sure Solar Storm own. They own Black Shadow, Solar Storm, and Night Newman. So type in that, and then type in. Alibaba if you want to find their actual store and that should be how you get the specs because um, sometimes finding specs on their lights is a bit iffy so manufacturer claimed 3,000 lumens I don't think it's 3,000 lumens if it was 3,000 lumens now it isn't because I de-domed it it's a lot less um, medium mode is 1,500 lumens then low mode is 300 lumens it's got a strobe which is at 3,000 lumens I'm pretty sure it's got two blinky modes, but they'll both be at 3,000 lumens. Um, basically, I don't think it's actually like that high. 
maybe 2008, maybe 2000, just, if even that. Uh, it, but it doesn't get hot. And after de-doming it, there's no actual back shelf that sits in between here. So, the um, it sits on a, um aluminium MCPB. And basically, like, the heat dissipation isn't actually that good. So, I'm guessing Solar Storm didn't crank up the amps uh, like they could have. Um, but, yeah. Now, more specs. Um, it's got this battery monitoring system, which is pretty dodgy. I don't know how it works, but, eh, it's a bit iffy. It's supposed to have, like, overheating heating protection. Uh, if you got this mounted on your bike, uh, and you're riding, it's gonna stay, stay cool anyway, because you're gonna constantly have wind hitting it. Uh, the body is alloy, should be aircraft grade alloy. Uh, it's anodizing is, looks pretty tacky, it's a bit black, a bit dark. I think this is only grade 2 hard anodizing, not grade 3. That's why it's got this kind of uh, smooth feel to it. Y you know, like for a cheaper lights, they've got to kind of cut cost. Uh, the optics would have probably cost them a bit of money to put into. So, yeah. Um, it's got a typical electronic switch that Solar Storms have. Um, to be honest, I'm a pretty big Sol Solar Storm fan. I'm not going to hate, hate on them on this video because I do love them. Um, but I had a SCO3 which is up on my channel too. I used to EDC that uh, and that electronic switch ended up breaking and I've got a SolarStorm T4 which is basically like this um, for XML2s only it's got a reflector system uh, only it's powered more than this because it is a lot brighter than this um, and that switch is starting to stuff up and this switch is brand new and it's already fidgety so uh, SolarStorm switches are a bit iffy but, like, you can change the switch itself anyway. Um, we'll put it on now. That's low mode. You can see the beam pattern there. My beam pattern would have changed a tiny bit because I uh, de-domed the LEDs. So you can see the PWM. Hopefully that isn't making you sick. Did I even change modes? I don't even know that even changed modes. Okay. So that's low mode, medium mode, then high mode. Doesn't appear to be any PWM on high mode. Sorry for shouting in your ear. I'm looking through my camera screen. And then back off. And um, to turn it on to the extra modes, it doesn't actually tell you in the instructions because they're not in English. I'm guessing you hold it. That's a, I don't know, strobe? It's a very slow strobe, but... Alright. My bad, there's only four, four modes. That's the only strobe. I swear before, I thought that I'd seen another strobe, but I guess not. Um, it says IPX7 rated. Um, after taking it apart, this um, blue bit here actually acts as, as a rubber boot to keep out water. Um, I wouldn't say it's IPX7, because I wouldn't really trust it. Uh, there's only one O-ring sitting here. In fact, I didn't even do mine up that tight, I don't think. If I can get this undone, I'll show you guys what I mean about how it works. Uh, if you guys are mountain bike riders and you are watching this, uh, please don't hate me. I just want to make sure that I show you guys. Um, that's the optics there. That's the O-ring. I don't usually pull apart my lights, but considering I already did doing this, I might as well. I'm just going to undo the power. So they don't blow up my room. There we go. Um, so that's the LEDs there. If I want to take it out, I've got to unscrew it. In fact, give me a second. Now I feel like Big Clive. I get to finally do this on camera. Oh, I just already bumped the camera. I already ruined it. Freaking hell. Usually I'll do this in my shed, but um, with this weather I can't. Hopefully I do not like thread the screw or I look like amateur hour and no one will ever buy a light that I mod. Okay. So what I mean to say is this is kind of made like I'm standing in the light. This is kind of made like the new style SRK lights um, which are made a bit cheaper. There's no, there should be like a piece of copper sitting b below this but unfortunately there isn't um the actual backplate mcpb itself isn't actually copper uh, which is a, which is a shame it's an alloy 
yeah, it's definitely uh, aluminium. Uh, you can see the driver in there. I know for most of you, this won't really matter. Um, but if you're okay at tweaking it, I, I would suggest to de, de dome it. Um, in fact, let me show you what I mean. So this is a cheaper lattice bright that you probably had before inside some of your fake lights. That's the dome there. I basically just took off that piece of rubber, uh, plastic, sorry. Um, and then I would definitely change the gauge of wire there. I think if you just change that to a bigger gauge wire, uh, straight away you're going to get performance improvements. I would almost guarantee that you will. Um, yeah. I'm going to put this back together and we will continue the video. Actually, while I'm putting it back together, you guys can just watch this part. Um, this is the optics here. You know, even if you wanted like performance increases and you didn't want to spend too much money and you got intermediate knowledge of um, flashlights, uh, go out there, get some um, XPG3s. They can be had fairly cheap and they're more efficient than the XMLs. So basically, without touching the driver, you're going to get more output with the same amount of heat from the same amount, from the same amount of power. Because the XPG3s, they're so, they're so efficient. I think it's like 190 lumens per watt. So yeah. All right. Um, I'm, I, I'm going to take this outside. I just got a couple of other things to show you. So just sit tight. Um, this is the connector that it comes with. So basically, what I didn't say in the box in the package comes with an adapter. Um, this isn't the adapter that it came with, but I'm using this for the purpose. Plugs in like so. Uh, then you charge. Um, obviously. My one came with like an American adapter, so I can't use it. It's a multi-voltage adapter, so from like 110 volts to 240 at 1 amp. I can tell you that much. Um, I just switched mine out for a 1 amp Aussie charger. Uh, and this is the battery pack here. That's like the holder that it comes in to fit around the bike. I know that SolarStorm make their own batteries. They probably don't make them, they buy and made. But from looking on their website, they came with. Just give me a sec, I was just reading it here. Uh, BAK batteries. Now, I'm pretty sure BAK batteries are these cells here. I pulled these cells out of a, um, out of a battery bank. It was like a Romos or something. And I pulled them out just to salvage them. Um, not the best cells in the world, but they still do work. Uh, they're not good for high amperage, so that might be the other reason why they're not aiming for very high amps with this light. It, it would be the heat and also the battery pack. Um, yeah, I think that that should basically be it. I'll just read you the LEDs on the back. So apparently, that's the connector there. And you tighten it on like that, so you don't doesn't come off when you're riding. Um, when it's on one LED, apparently the battery is at 20%. Um, two green ones, 80 to 50. And then the one green one is 100% to 80%. Somewhere around about there. Also, um, the battery pack, I believe, it's rated at 4,400 milliamps. So there's four cells in there. So either these cells are only 1,000 milliamps each, or it's um, two in par parallel and two in series. So you could be getting like, what's that? 7.4 volts nominal at 4,400 milliamps, which I'm guessing that you're getting because when I turn this on and the radio's on, the interference is like crazy. Um, it must have a buck driver in there. I didn't actually unsolder it to look at the driver. I just took it apart to see what, what was in there. So uh, that's about it guys. I've told you all the specs. Hopefully I was able to find more specs than what you guys can find. As I said, um, just look around for their um, online store. They had one on AliExpress, but they never sold anything on there. Uh, their custom service is pretty friendly anyway. I've spoken to them in the past. Um, yeah, so now enough blabbering on. I wasted half a day. Uh, we'll freaking take this outside and we'll see how it does. Alright guys, uh, we're outside now, a bit windy, sorry about the wind. Um, I've got my mobile phone out to compare it to, not my digital camera that I was just recording with, so no tripod. Once again, I'll be doing the tripoding th this evening. Um, don't get me wrong, this light is no slouch. 
um, please remember too that um, my overall output will be down but the light will be a little bit more throwy and the tint will be a little bit lighter now that I did domed it so this is low mode they reckon it gives you like eight hours of off, off run time probably would and um, if it is actually 4400 milliamp hour bad battery all right now that's what I mean I think this switch just switched it straight to high mode did it yep it did see this switch is very fidgety I don't know why I really wish that wish that solar storm would work on the switches all right this should be low again that should be medium and that should be high so that's back off low mode All right, now this is medium mode. Um, basically, they reckon that this will give you five hours of runtime. I kind of call bullshit on that, but if it does, well, that's good. But because I can't con confirm how big the battery is, I can't really tell you. And now that's high mode. So you can see this is absolutely no slouch. It is friggin' bright as, but it's probably not the 3,000 lumens what they tell you that it, that it is. But this will be way more than enough light for when you're riding your bike even on like darkest trails there should be more than enough light um i brought my solar storm t4 out to compare it to which is going to be a pain in the ass about the tripod but i'll see what i can do all right guys i have the blf a6 on high mode um special edition light about 14 to 1600 lumens Okay, so you can see this is the um, X6 here, the Solar Storm, and this is the BLF A6. Uh, you can see they're pretty similar, not too much difference. Uh, a bit hard to hold them both at the same time without a tripod. But yeah, let me see what I can work out. First time viewers, well, my videos aren't usually this dodgy, but my, my tripod mounts are broken. So you can see pretty much that they're pretty similar um, brightness. The Solar Storm could be a tad brighter, but that could also be the tint. This will be a left A6 to the right, and the Solar Storm X6 to the left. Um, I'll turn on the Solar Storm T T4 now, and you'll see how bright it is. All right, guys, I just put it down. Uh, it's kind of like I'm, I'm not holding it now, but it's kind of resting on the um, veranda. Okay, this is the Solar Storm T T4 on its highest mode. You can see it pretty much it outshines the X6 by a lot. So X6 to the left here and T4 to the right. So you can see pretty much the same style of setup. Only um, Solar Storm cranked up the power on the um, T T4. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the T4 off now because it's a little bit too too bright. All right, this freaking button too. It's a pain in the ass. I don't know. Solar Storm, if you watch this, please fix it. I don't know, your buttons are so fidgety. I think it's just the rubber that they use. So, um, the X6 is still on now. Sorry about the review, guys. It's a bit frantic. You probably got mad wind, wind noise, but it's friggin' freezing too. I'm wearing a t shirt. So, as I said, this is more than enough light to um, do, the, do the job. And to be honest, now I've seen how right it is. It's not 3000 lumens, so. You'll be looking at getting a lot longer runtime from having less lumens, uh, and also the heat dissipation will be more spread out because there's four LEDs. So in the end, I would still rate this as a good buy because you can get it cheap. So um, if you can find one, I know Gearbest stops selling them now. I would recommend buying it, but um, just de de the LEDs if you can. Just make it make it a little bit nicer tint, and then you should be done. Alright guys, this has been Chris from Everyday Survival Gear, bringing you the Solar Storm X6. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy the video.